Now, as much as I sort of like this story, or I like what this county is doing, I sort of see the legality behind it. But l let me explain for you. So, the Flagler County in Florida, their board of commissioners have instituted a new law um, that would require potential county employees to undergo testing for nicotine use. Um, and to pledge to sign an affidavit that will remain tobacco free while working there. Now, I hate smoking. Let's be real. My producer smokes, and I rag on him for smoking because I think smoking is horrible for your health. I think it's unhealthy to do, it's the wrong thing to do, it's by far the worst thing to do in your health wise. And I don't want to see my producer die a horrible death or be on an oxygen tank and sounding like Kermit the Frog because he decided to make unhealthy decisions. But. With that being said, I don't control, nor do can I stop my producer from making said unhealthy decisions, right? But this county is saying we can stop our employees from making these unhealthy decisions. And I'm pretty sure there's a cost associated with making these unhealthy decisions. And if I was paying for my producer's health insurance, and he was a smoker, and it raised my premiums, then yeah, I would say there is a cost induced for paying for his unhealthy decisions. With that being said, the eight, and this is where, uh, so this is where I sort of, you know, tend to side on the side of the Constitution. Um, the American Civil Liberties Union of Florida is thinking about suing, or their spokesperson said that they're going to sue Flagler County, and here is why. They believe that this policy violates the unnecessary, unreasonable search and seizure. Now, the Supreme Court has ruled numerous times, and they've struck down blanket testing of public employees and public school students, citing the Fourth Amendment. And there's many Florida counties who have instituted these drug testing policies, and they believe that it violates this a Fourth Amendment. And I tend to agree there. As much as I think it is egregious for people to smoke, I also tend to agree that, hell, do whatever the hell you want to do, and it's none of my business whether or not you smoke. Unless, now this is where my caveat comes in, unless you smoking affects your job performance. Then we got issues on my, on my lens. Maybe that's a conservative bone in my body, Maybe not, but that's just how I feel about it. You know, I tend to side, I tend to side both ways, but I, you know, on the Constitution, I, based on the Constitution, I think it is unreasonable search and seizure to make them sign an affidavit that they can no longer smoke nicotine.